My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. I had no mother to love me or a father to give me a hug. I was left all alone in the strange darkness. No. Hi, welcome to Inspire Blessings with Jean Marie Prince. And uh, today is a celebration, uh, and in the fact that uh, my 129th episode, what I try to do is every 25th episode, is to have a guest uh, TV um, uh, host to be able to actually uh, interview me so you can really learn about the testimony that God has given me because I, I feel that it's been a blessing. And so today, and I want to thank you so much, Lisa Cooper, and in which she's going to be the uh, TV guest uh, host today interviewing me. And also the fact that you have, you're a minister at the Bridge Connection, right? And in yes. which uh, you founded back in um, 2012? That's right. Right. And now you're also co-laboring with uh, alongside your husband and congratulations Sean Cooper thank you yes yeah so it's cute to see you together <laughs> and so also uh, it's a powered church uh, ministry that uh, unifies and edifies the body of Christ that's to correct really work together yes yeah so. Jean Marie thank you for having me and congratulations on your 129th episode thank you thank you appreciate it um, so I'm honored to uh, be here to ask some questions so that everyone can get to know you a little bit better um, so tell me, I know that you were abandoned at birth, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd like to ask you about that. Yeah, I was found two days old uh, in a public bathroom in a train station in Seoul, Korea. Uh. You know, but when I think about it, I know people, uh, I think sometimes they have more compassion about it than I do, because I don't really think about the past or think of myself being there. So right. I guess that's a, it's a good way that God has sheltered me with that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't long after that that you got adopted? Well, it was five years, actually, that I lived in a Christian orphanage, and it was called Holt Orphanage. Okay. Uh, they were a Christian uh, family that uh, started this. And what I thought was very interesting is when my mom passed away, uh, you know, the adoption papers my father had given me, and there was a piece of paper that actually they had to sign that they were going to raise me up in the faith of Jesus Christ if they were to adopt me from there. Okay. So I feel that that's really where the fruit of the labor had started, that they must have been praying for the children. And yes. look, at, look at what God has done. And I'm just curious, like, what the other children are doing, because I feel that that's really been the fruit of the labor of that family. That's amazing that it was a Christian orphanage yes. and that they had to make that promise. So you get adopted by a family who has promised to raise you Christian. Mm -hmm. But tell me, how did your personal relationship with Jesus Christ begin and develop? Well, you know, I was adopted uh, at the age of five to an American family, Irish, Italian father, four instant brothers. Uh, they were very, they were Catholic, went to church every weekend, uh, most Catholics do, received the sacraments, which I did. Uh, I also ended up becoming the flower girl, you know, a, a, as well. So I would say that I really felt like, I guess I believed in God because I was told to believe in God. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know if that was true. Um, Sometimes the stories of uh, Jonah, you know, the beaten, eaten by the big fish, and you know, and and uh, the, there was a huge flood, you know, Noah. They all seem like fairy tales stories, you know. So I guess I really didn't really have that true faith, but yet I also felt like I was, you know, had to watch the ten, you know, that it was good with the Ten Commandments and things like right. that, and. So I guess if you had to base it that way that uh, getting into heaven was based on uh, works, uh, you know, I qualified because I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I was obedient <laughs> to my parents, I did all my chores, right? you know, things like that. But uh, back in, I guess now in my, my 20s, and uh, my girlfriend says, hey, you want to go to a Bible study? I said, hey, I've always wanted to learn the Bible. I was always interested. Sure. I remember at the age of 13, my uh, brother had gone to California we thought he was with a cult, okay? He comes for vacation, ends up uh, having myself and his ex-girlfriend on the couch praying, and he's telling us that if we don't read the Bible, we're gonna go to hell, <laughs> you know? So okay. I was just like, ooh. So I took to, picked up the Bible, and what I recommend is that when you're first coming to faith, 
and wanting to learn the Bible, you don't start with the book of Revelations. <laughs> okay? You know, when it's talking about the lion, the teeth, the hair, the, you know, the locust, and things like that. And I was like, whoa. I closed it because it scared the heck out of me. So, like I said, I guess probably around 24, my girlfriend says, you want to go? I said, sure. Very pessimistic. I didn't just believe, I didn't want to believe just because I'm supposed to believe. Sure. Right? So, I asked a lot of questions, went many times to the Bible study, and then when God says, when you ask, seek, and knock, you will find him. That's because right. all of a sudden, one day, whatever question I ask, the next thing, the scales of unbelief was removed from my eyes. And I was like, you're right. Jesus Christ really is true. He is the Son of God. I'm really a sinner, even though I thought I was perfect. It isn't based on works. It isn't ba- it's, it's based on the grace of God. Yes. And what he, Jesus did on the cross. Yes. You know, so I realized, oh my goodness. And now I have the passion to want to tell everybody the truth. Okay. And you know my, and even in my book, I say, if there's a fire and I see you on the one side, and I see the fire storing on the other side, and I know it's coming closer and closer, because people, when you share it to, especially in the beginning, they're like, whoa, stop, you know. Yeah. And and so the thing is, is that, but when you know the truth, you want everybody to be saved. That's right. So here's the thing, I say to myself, so when I see the fire. Do I stay silent like people want me to do? Don't say one word. Or do I shout out as loud as possible? Get out of the house because it's burning, because hell is coming. Right. You know? So that's what happened, is that that's why my passion is to do what I do today. Wow. So you mentioned your book. Yeah. Um, and I know you have that, and you also have some CDs. So those are really some evangelistic tools. Um, what would you want anyone to know about your books or your CDs? Well, it has this. Um, When I do speaking engagements, I share from my book along with singing from my CD albums, but I have professional artists that actually sing on them, but I sing along with them. And the miracle in taking a leap of faith, I was walking in the parking lot in the fall of 2010, and I literally heard, do the book. And I said, you're right, that makes sense. I take this huge leap of faith, knowing I'm not a writer, no, prof- no professional experience in it, didn't go to college, no songwriting experience, but I say, yes, you're right, that makes sense. And I even said many things come from the book, okay? Turns out that um, God had blessed me to share my testimony, 14 true testimonies of others, along with I, uh, God had blessed me with over 100 inspirations, I take 40 of them, and I really they're there by the trials of life. And the story behind Inspire Blessings, the miracle of how he can take someone who's so ordinary, who has no experience in any of this, and look what he does, because that girl believed in what she, in what she was told, and she believed that yes. God could do it. And that's why on the first page, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And that's what he has shown me, wow. is that, you know, you take that leap of faith, and each time you do different things that you do, you're obedient, he'll give you more and more. And it's just amazing. I mean, I could just go on and on with what God has done. Well, there's such encouraging works. Um, and I know that you also started writing for greeting cards and with one of my uh, favorite collections, Blue Mountain Arts. We're so excited. Um, how do folks get a hold of those? Well, right now they're in uh, throughout the country in 20 plus testing stores and, and in which they were part of the 100 inspirations that I used to actually sell in frames to stores that I shrunk down into, into cars. So I also have my personal product line of uh, the Jean Marie Prince green cars that are sold in, in retail stores that you can find out on my website. And, and in which the uh, Blue Mountain, so it's 20 plus stores, they, I licensed 16 of my writings and in which um, they're testing them out now to see if they do well there, then, then they're going to put them in the regular size cards in, throughout their stores uh, across the country. And then they had requested me to send them more, so now I have another batch that they're testing in 2019. And what's really interesting is that Newsday actually, uh, is doing a feature article. I mean, all this is God. There's no way that, you know? That's right. The connections. and When can we look for that article in Newsday? Well, by th- when this airs, it will actually have passed, which is March 25th, which will be Palm Sunday in the Acts 2 page of this Sunday. Okay. But they can go on to Newsday, or they can go on to my website, because I'm sure I'll be posting it on there. Or they wow. can go on to the Facebook, Inspire Blessings, and uh, like my page, and then I'll be posting on... Uh, you know, have, would have posted on there as well. Okay. And mm-hmm. if that doesn't make you busy enough, um, <laughs> I hear there's some talk of a movie 
Like, well, share that. No, no, no. Well, what it is is that um, I had a Christian actor, uh, uh, Jen uh, Gotchen uh, Chandler and Jim Chandler. I had interviewed them. Oh. Okay. So they're doing a movie called The Farmer and the Bell. Yes. Okay, so it's a pending movie, and so their story has to do with greeting cards, and she loves my greeting cards that somehow she wants to feature my writings or some something uh, to pitch to Hallmark. Wow. Hallmark. <laughs> you know what wow. I, mean? I don't know if that's going to happen because I'd be like, okay. Well, wouldn't that open doors? Have my writers, that's but amazing. Yeah, so we'll see what happens, but I've been just blessed the feedback when people uh, actually give my cards, how they uh, ended up, you know, the people that are the receiver calls them to say, I, I just want to say, you know, for instance, the birthday card, it's the best birthday card I've ever gotten. Right. And you know what? It's only God. Because I'm not a writer, but these came out in average hour. The songs, all of a sudden driving, and the melody and the lyrics would come out within an hour. So it's just amazing. So you're being faithful in using your gifts for the glory of God that edifies people all over the country. What's next for you? Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> You know what? Even if God stopped at the book, I'd be like, wow. So, you know what? Yes. In my book, at the end of it, I said, I can't wait to see what's around the bend. Because when that book was written, see the albums didn't come out. Right. Okay, I didn't have that. The greeting cards, I didn't have that. They were actually, I was saying, oh, I hope one day that I could have the CD albums, the greeting cards. I, I don't know. But it's funny because this lady who has the gift of prophecy, 14 years prior, before the book was written, I had shown her uh, three to five of my inspirations, and all of a sudden she goes, oh, Jean Marie, God's telling me you're going to be writing a book, doing some kind of speaking engagements, and you're going to be doing some kind of movie. I'm like, what? And I'm like, what? And I laughed at her. I literally laughed like a hyena, because I'm like, no way, there's no way. I don't have any experience in any of this. Right. Fourteen years later, God tells me to write this book. My church had closed, so we were no longer really you know, in, connect, in, in contact so much. And I called her one day it went after that, and I said, the day after, I think it was, and I said, Linda, I feel like God wanted me to tell you, but he told me to write the book. She goes, Jima, you're not going to believe this. And I said, what? She goes, you know how you gave me three inspirations like this over time? And I said, yes, and I read them every day, I tell you, I, it's as prayers. So yesterday when I was reading it, I, let, I read the last one, and all of a sudden I said, you know, God, whatever happened, you told me she was going to write a book, speaking at different places, some kind of a movie, and nothing ever became of it. Without me knowing that she's uh, asking this question the next day, hey, Linda, I felt like God wanted me to tell you, but he told me to do the book. <laughs> <laughs> so if that was not a confirmation. And scripture says, he that has begun a good work is faithful to complete. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what's going on in your life, Jean Marie, and I know that you know God is going to continue to use you to just inspire people all across the country. And yeah. uh, I'm so grateful that, that you've been faithful and, in this and work. And you know what's great is that I know that there's different ministries, different organizations that are always looking to, to raise money, you know, and, uh, and, um, and, and in different ways. So I've actually, on my website at jeanmarieprince.com, have uh, some, some organizations in which, let's say, for instance, um, all my products are on their page. It's their own personal page, and in which if uh, someone goes to purchase a book, they're going to get X amount of dollars credit. I see. So every quarter, they would get a check. You know, uh, uh, let's say they would get a donation to that organization based on the sales of, of Inspired Blessings. And with the greeting cards, right now, I've got, now, I think, now 50, 50 of my original cards on there that you can be able to order you know, as one of this, one of that, or whatever, and then this way then they, they would get accredited. Because I, I would say what makes my cards uh, stand out or unique, you're not gonna find topics when somebody's trying to commit suicide on, how, on what to say to them, or how about family members who've lost people to suicide, right. or let's say uh, somebody who's addicted to on drugs, what would you really say? I feel like God has inspired me to give those words on you know, in the cards sure. to, you know, so this way. So it's like when you need help with the right words, I would say that's my tagline for my cards. And, and let's say, for instance, if you're contemplating um, abortion, you know, there's one, there's one based on the baby talking to the mother, and then there's mm. the other one is, is based on all of a sudden, you know, she finds out she's pregnant, you know, my baby wasn't planned. God, what do I do? Right. You know? Uh, also, um, I mean, there's so many different topics to even occupations. You've got your EMTs, you've got, you know, your Coast Guard. And, and you know, it's really unique 
it's like God had blessed me to take my own pictures. So whenever you see any of my original pictures, they are actual from my good camera, like I say, because I don't have any experience in it. But let's say the Coast Guard. I called up uh, Robin Moses' uh, Coast Guard. Can I do? Can you do me a favor? Can I be able to come down and take pictures of the Coast Guard wow. on their rafts? And they let me do it. Even I got a Montauk fire truck. You know, but because all, also all the themes of my pictures is always water. Okay, so it's like nautical. And so you got the Montauk fire truck behind it. You got the, you know, boy Gosman's over there water. Yeah, so it's it's just amazing. You um, know, I know certainly that our uh, services industries and um, you know, well, you know, mm -hmm. I have two children in the military, yes. and I know how important it is to keep them, you know, supported and to keep pouring into them. So I know those cards are just going to be so. Well, I actually just added 11 um, new additional cards to the, and one of them happens to be the Brave Heroes, the Armed Forces. And I went to send me that one. I went to the uh, Robert Moses, you know, their air show. Yes. And I'm thinking, you know, if I could get a picture of an, you know, one of those helicopters with the water, you know, that'd be a great picture. So I'm like, how am I going to do that? So I said, I'm going to stand still. When I see them coming across, click. And I got a click, and there it goes with the one man, like, sitting at the uh, opening of the, of the airplane there. And so it's a great picture because then you see the water spatting. And it's, you know, called the Brave Heroes of the Armed Forces. And it ties in um, the Navy, the Army, and the, uh, the Air Force. You know, you, you know, so it's, it's uh, very interesting the way God had blessed me to uh, be able to get that picture and, and the inspirations. That's fantastic. You know, you're covering so many different areas. I know that everyone just can't wait to see you know, what is next for you and, and how you will share that with the world. Yeah, you know, I know we're talking a lot about uh, citizenship these days, right? But uh, how about a card to, to f actually be able to get someone that says citizen for life? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I have a lot of topics that uh, actually that one isn't that one isn't uh, available yet, but it can be, you know, in the fact that if people requesting it enough of it and things like that. You know, because it takes time or whatever to uh, make the initial card. Sure. But yeah. And, oh, and then I also have, uh, I had the request of a real estate agent. You know, do I have anything for real estate? And I said, you know, I happen to because I had a, somebody who requested an inspiration many years back. And so now I just got an order from a real estate agent for like 20 cards. You That's know? amazing. So, yeah. That's amazing. You know what? I bought a, a home just over a year ago and my agent. Uh, gave us a card mm -hmm. thanking us for choosing you know them and and also welcoming us into our right. home and we certainly re received a bunch of cards to say welcome to your new home none of which had but this inspired is actually, blessings right but this one is actually uh, God's chosen vessel meaning how the real estate agent was the vessel for them to find this home wow you know what I'm saying and then yes. like another card is making the transition and how God had used them to show them the right home for their transition you know so it's, it's so it's really talking about how it's specifically for them absolutely. to give to their buyers absolutely well mm -hmm. that sounds perfect yeah that's yeah. perfect yeah so you know I'm looking to like I said is to do speaking engagements and in which um, I feel that it's so important this day you know these days this world is so uncertain you've got the ter terrorist acts you've got the school killings oh, actually I wrote inspirations based on the Sandy Hook and, and I had actually made it into an 8x10 and put it like into a, a cardboard insert along with for the, ch for the parents that lost the children called, um, uh, uh, you know, about the, the, their angel, you know, our little angel. Okay. The other one was for the teachers and the, you know, that was also killed and it was called God is Morning With You. So I think it was like right after Christmas, my son and I drove up to Connecticut and uh, had given them these things for hopefully to comfort them. But it was, you know, it, it was based on that scenario. And even like if tra uh, tragedy uh, in our nation, it's based on after September 11th. Right. Comforting for those who are left behind is so important because that's what, uh, you know, the survivors tend to struggle with. Right. Um, you said something about being available for speaking engagements. If anyone that's watching, you know, would be interested in learning more, mm -hmm. how would they find that out? Well, they can go onto my website at gmarieprince.com, and in which um, they can be able to uh, contact me because there is, you know, a tab for the speaking, and um, 
you know, like I said, I've been blessed that after I do a speaking uh, engagements that, that people come up and, and how they were inspired and how they would touch and, you know, my story coming into faith as well as uh, really uh, how I took a huge leap of faith knowing that I can't, you know, I thought I wasn't able to originally do the things, but again, put trust in God and, um, that's you know. right. But I, like I was, uh, when I was saying before, is that um, the uncertainty of this world, okay, you can wake up thinking, oh, it's just another day. But too many people these days, even from that freak accident of that bridge collapsing, that pedestrian uh, bridge in yes, Florida, in Florida, you just don't know. No. Tomorrow isn't guaranteed. That's right. And you know what? I was just recently down in, um, in Florida. And, um, you know, just getting a massage, my first time getting a massage, but anyway. So we were having this conversation, and she was a Christian. She was saying how she has uh, friends who are Jehovah Witness or they, you know, and, uh, Buddha, you know. She doesn't feel that there was a problem because they were living the life that you should be living on earth, which is right, you know, it, to be loving, to be kind, and things like that. But I'm trying to explain to her, but those other religions aren't looking at the source, that it's Jesus Christ is the only yes. way. You know, it's that it's John 3:16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's right. You have other, you know, religions that are, you know, making you do things, okay? So now it's based on works to get into heaven. And it isn't based on works. It's based on the grace of God because he already did it for you. That's God, right. Jesus never expected us to be perfect. He knew we were never going to be perfect. No one is righteous, not even one, he says, right? Yes. So that's why he knew he had. And that's why God says, you know what? I have to send my son. I have to so he can be in the form of flesh because he has to, you know, be their perfect lamb. So, you know, only God was, you know, is sinless. So he's the perfect lamb. You know, just like you know, in the Old Testament when they had to find the perfect lamb when they're doing you know, sacrifice for sin offerings or this and that, we would never be able to get to heaven based on even trying to keep up with all the ritual things that we had to do. That's right. So it's only through the grace of God and that's why I just want people to realize, you know, like even when she's saying Buddha and I'm like, yeah, but they believe in reincarnation. That isn't the way. She goes, well, I don't have to believe in or understand what their religion is about okay. you know what I mean in order for them to but I just because the the way that they're living is good enough for me sure that's the way you should be well yeah you know the thing is is that you're not doing them a favor by not telling them you know because if you truly believe in your heart then how could you say you're a Christian yourself right. if you're not believing that you need to you know God wants us to tell the truth and to others and sometimes like I said people could be like who were you to tell me I'm like you know what I'm only telling you what the Bible is telling me that's right I'm not telling you what I believe I mean it is what I believe but I'm telling you based on what the Bible you know and that's because I truly believe and I think again I want to shout out as loud as possible get out of the house because it's burning and it's coming to get you that's right that's right and you're right you know the Bible says for by grace are we saved through faith it is not of ourselves nothing we can do it is a gift of God, not of works. Mm -hmm. Nothing we can do. Right. We can't. We can't talk about what we've done in our own right. It's all God. And that's why I decided to have this uh, TV show, which is now going into the third. I think which is the third year. And I feel that sh testimonies are very important yes. because testimonies can change other people that might be listening to it that have been in that situation. That's right. You know. So actually, I had I was reading this book. Uh, that someone had given me, um, you know, on the plane ride and things like that. And uh, I just, you know, some of the stories like, wow, there's this one where the guy was like, did not believe in God, would not give him the time of the day, ended up, he spit on the ground and said, I, you know, would give more honor to that spit than you. Mm. The next thing he's saying, what happens is almost like, all of a sudden he sees something happening where you take huge trees, but all of a sudden he sees it splitting. He sees it moving, you know, as if because someone's coming. Oh. He, can't, he can't see this being coming at him, right. but it's the trees are moving. And all of a sudden he knows it's like coming right at him. It literally picks him up, 
off his feet and it says, I'm going to show you I am. Drops him. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he totally, and you know, he still went through a lot of things, but then he committed himself because he realized I am is I am. That's right. That's right. You know? And, um, and like I said, is that uh, I just feel that the, this world, it's just got too much, uh, even division going on you know yeah. so one of the songs uh, actually in my second album is called love and hate love and hate what do you get you get nothing right. you know and it's just a re really great lyrics to that song because but it's only through you know Jesus Christ you know in the fact that if you know love then you've got everything that's right here on earth and and, and in heaven it's the simplest commandments, but it's the hardest, right? <laughs> love your neighbor and love God. Right, right. And you know, it's like, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. People don't realize that it's already been done when Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead. When he said it was finished, it was finished. That's right. So, so the fact that, you know, if we could have the faith to truly believe, you're going to see the things that are in heaven to really happen on earth. Like, you'll yes. hear people with the healing right how they're healed and the doctor's like you know what and I, I was listening to something on the 700 club it was a healing and he was like but it was it was because of god because of god yes yeah amen mm -hmm. but i want to thank you so much oh it was such an honor taking this time to get to know you a little more and to get to see what god is doing in your life and it really is such an inspiration Thank, thank you. you, thank you, and, and I want to thank you as well. And you know what? I'd like to have you back. That uh, if you're ever having a big event that you want people to know about on the Bridge Connection, definitely. We're certainly working on something, so I'll let you know. Yeah. Jean Marie, thank you so much for thank having you. me. I appreciate it, and I want to thank you so much for joining us. And I hope that um, you know my testimony uh, had spoke to you. That truly, uh, I really am an ordinary person, but because I took the leap of faith. What God has done is amazing, and it's only through him that I give him all the glory, all the power that he's done this. Um, because, again, it's not by might nor power, but it's by the Holy Spirit that yes. you believe that things truly can happen. And I'm not kidding you. I really mean what I'm saying. And um, like I said, I do speaking engagements and would love to be able to come to your church to even be able to share more and to be able to sing some of these powerful lyrics that really God has given me, um, along with um, being able to, um, you know, to share, to share why, why I believe. And also, uh, if you could like my Facebook Inspired Blessings page, because then you get the updates of the different things that God has been doing, as well as the different uh, TV uh, interviews. And along with, um, if you're not able to especially watch my interviews, because for time reasons they don't, it doesn't allow, you can go onto my YouTube and you subscribe to it. So anytime I download something, you'll be notified that uh, you can watch it. Um, and I also, you know, again, would love to partner with more uh, ministries or organizations that are looking to raise money through a very simple online fundraiser because, and I say simple because I'm doing all the work for you, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's, like I said, very inspirational things that they can be able to get as well. So, uh, again, thank you so much for joining us today on my 129th uh, episode. And I think the next time I'm probably going to make it the 175th uh, episode or I'll have somebody else uh, interview me. So I want to thank you again so keep inspired blessings within arm's reach to help give you comfort when others are at a loss for words thank you and god bless for more information on inspired blessings book cd albums photograph prints jimmy prince greeting cards and speaking engagements jimmyprince.com as well as facebook page inspired blessings for updates and CD Baby to listen to the songs. Thank you and God bless. To accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer. I know that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness. Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins and purify me. I know that you died and rose again to pay for my sins. I need you to be my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. My life is in your hands. 
My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. I had no mother to love me or a father to give me a hug. I was left all alone in the strange darkness. Nobody tried to claim. Said that they knew me, but Lord.